bias is learned at an incredibly early age. But what makes um, a child then act on bias can be when, again, when they perceive it socially acceptable to do so. The chair of the New Jersey Youth Bias Task Force, Rachel Rayner Apter, says that explains part of what a new report has found, the highest number of youth bias incidents since the state began keeping records a quarter century ago. A New Jersey law mandating proper reporting shows youth bias incidents jumped by 75 percent in 2019 over 2018. 56 percent by those 25 or younger and half of those by someone younger than 17. 994 bias offenses, anti-black racism motivated 371 or 30 percent of all incidents. Wayne or after faults political discourse and bias learned in school. She cites examples of what she calls systemic racism. New Jersey has one of the highest racial discipline gaps in the country. Even though students of all races misbehave at similar rates, black students are 3.1 times more likely to be suspended than white students. And students are also placed in AP and IB courses at racially disparate rates. And so part of how we got here is by failing to address the ways in which many of the institutions that shape our country have a long legacy of excluding, oppressing, and degrading people of color, religious minorities, immigrants, women, LGBTQ plus people, and people with disabilities. The task force makes 27 recommendations for education, enforcement, and engagement. Among them require comprehensive anti-bias education, require anti-bias training for educators and school employees, address discrimination in the imposition of school discipline. Wayner After says the task force learned in its hearings New Jersey schools are failing to weave required teaching about the Holocaust and slavery into curricula. One of the main recommendations, as I said in the report, is that the legislature should um, enact legislation that takes a comprehensive view to how anti-bias education um, should look in K-12 through schools. The state attorney general said anti-Semitism fueled last December's deadly attack on a kosher market in Jersey City. It's one of the worst bias crimes in the modern history of the state. The Anti-Defamation League has a long record of fighting bias and is a member of the Youth Bias Task Force. It urges New Jersey to turn the recommendations into action, such as calling out hateful speech and improving enforcement and prosecution of hateful incidents. The way in which you check bias, thoughts, actions, attitudes in society avoids the eventual escalation of these attitudes into much worse behavior um, and eventually potentially leading into things like war crimes and genocide, right? Which we've seen in other societies. And that's exactly what we want to avoid here. Michael Hill, NJ Spotlight News.